Hello, today we are going to install KD applications on Android. For this, we're going to use a technology named Waydroid. Let's start Waydroid, which is an Android uh, emulator using Linux container technology. For this, we need a Wayland compositor. So let's start Western. Let's resize it to the size that we want. And then we need two terminals. In the first one, we're going to say Waydroid session start and wait until it says Android with user zero is available, is ready. Which is the deed. We need a second terminal where we're going to run this thing. So Waydroid show full UI. Okay, so now a Waydroid uh, user interface, so Android starts and takes all of the screen of the Western compositor except the panel. The three Android buttons on the bottom are uh, back home and the task viewer. And uh, they're spaced like this because the Western compositor was resized to a size that's uh, larger than a mobile phone. So probably Android thinks that this is a uh, tablet. Okay, so this is Android with Google applications, including the Play Store. So let's look at the Android page in the kd.org community wiki. Says that KD applications are already available in the Google Play Store and in F Droid, which is another App Store for Android. So let's first look inside of the Google Play App Store and see the KD applications. So the applications are by the KD community. It found KD Connect and the other one, two, three, four applications. So KD Itinerary. Okay, so KD Connect is an application that you install both on your computer, desktop computer, laptop, on uh, your Linux operating system plus on your Android mobile phone and uh, then you have uh, a bit of synchronization between your computer and your mobile phone such as you can from your desktop computer you can read the SMSs that you receive on your mobile phone. Okay, let's not install this. So this application says that it's installable on Waydroid x86 64-bit. Let's look at the other applications. KD Itinerary is also installable, so compatible with my Android device. About this app says that uh, it was last updated one and a half years ago. Let's install it and see how it looks like.
how to import data. There's duplicated text in here, my itinerary. About I have uh, I'm uh, using as input for the Android device my mouse and keyboard. Let's see if the web browser works. It started uh, Firefox. Let's close the web browser. So go to the task switcher and then as on your Android mobile phone, you just swipe the app to the top. Maybe there's a double buffering issue because uh, some web browsers do not uh, show parts of the web page. Okay. Help. Export. Where am I? Let's go back. No settings. Check for updates. Allow. There's no progress. So this is similar to the file open dialog. Okay, and that was about it. Let's go to the next application. Let's uh, actually uninstall it. Okay, key to Berlink. Says this app isn't compatible with your device anymore. And if I go to, where is it? To the application information. About this game, yes. So does not uh, say why it's not compatible, does not say the required operating system level, does not say um, maybe my CPU is not supported by the application, maybe the application is ARM HF only or ARM64 only and I'm on AMD64. Says released on 2012, uh, 2017, does not say when it was last updated, but we can see this in the web browser. So last updated on October 9. So there were no updates, updates just the first upload and that's it in 2017. Requires Android 4.1 and up. 
and WayDroid is probably Android 11. Lineage OS with uh, Google Apps. Okay, so okay, Tubalink does not work and is really old. Next, K Algebra. This again is not compatible. 2014. and last updated in 2017. Okay, so that was fast. And then uh, only one remains, which is the Kirigami Gallery. Again, not compatible. Released on 2016. and updated one year later in uh, December 2017. Okay, so this community.kd.org slash Android page says that uh, Android KD applications can be found in four places. In Google Play, we saw the offering, then in F-Droid. How do we search in here? So there's uh, K-Trip and KD Connect. Okay, and then there's Gcom Pre, which is not by the KD community or by KD EV, but it's by gcompre.net. Who's the vendor of this application of KD Connect? I'm not sure. Okay, let's um, do F Droid. So for that, we need uh, the F Droid application inside the Android. We download FDroid APK, it's already downloaded, and then we need to install it using a WayDroid. So install and run Android applications with this command line. Okay. So that's the command line WayDroid app install fdroid.apk. Does not say anything. It uh, installs applications really fast. Let's close the Google Play App Store. Okay. We close all, our, all applications like this. Let's uninstall some of the applications. How do we do that? OK. 
Okay, so let's um, uninstall all of the KD applications because I do not know where they were installed from, either from um, a Google uh, Play App Store or from F-Droid App, App Store or from the two F-Droid uh, repositories from the KD community. Okay, let's look at the list. So this is the home screen. Let's look at the list of the applications. Nothing from the KD community. Great. We have F-Droid uh, App Store installed. Let's look at its settings, repositories, and we only want uh, the default experience, which is just f droid repository enabled okay let's search the kd applications in here so there's jcompri uh, says it's incompatible updated two months ago no versions compatible with this device the website is so correct and the source code repository is correct okay What's, what else is there? There's KD Connect. It does not prominent does not uh, say who published this application, and I cannot easily select all of the applications published by the KD community. So there's three versions from uh, one month ago. Okay, so this um, allows me to install the application. Okay, what else? There's K trip. Allows accessing real time public transport data. I'm not sure what this thing is. I'm not sure exactly what's the difference between itinerary and trip and k trip. They seem to have some similarities. OK, 
Okay. So is this thing K-Trip uh, compatible with my device? Nope. And it was updated four years ago. Says no versions compatible with uh, device. And that's about it, uh, about the KD applications that are available straight from the default uh, repository in F Droid, Android App Store. But then there's two additional repositories that are made for F Droid by the KD communities. So there's the F Droid release repository and the KD F Droid nightly build repository. Let's look first at the release one and then at the nightly one. For that, we need a web browser that allows us to copy paste inside the Android device. So this is going to be the one. Okay, this guy. Right click, copy. Right click very rarely works in uh, this Android emulator. Okay, back to where we were in F Droid. How do we close the search? By pressing the escape key twice. Settings, repositories, new, it pre populates. So this is the stable add. Okay. And the apps in the stable repository are these ones. So Elisa, which is the media player in four versions, ARM EABI, ARM64, X86 and X86-64. Let's remove the default uh, repository such that we only have access to the KD Android release build repository. Okay, there's K trip, a recent version. There's itinerary, a recent version. Congress, ocular kirigami to chat applications, neo chat and Tokodon. So Tokodon is for Mastodon, NeoChat is for Matrix. And that's it. So let's look at which application in here. Ocular Mobile. Says it's compatible with my operating system and my CPU architecture. Do you want to install? Yes. Open. Open. I've downloaded from the internet a KD PDF, which is the fundamentals.pdf file. Files keep stopping. I double clicked on this PDF. Okay, so if I scroll with my mouse, I only have access to the first page. 
if I scroll with my finger, I only have access to the first page. If I want the rest of the page, I just I need to swipe left and then swipe down and then swipe left and then swipe down. Left, down, left, down. Okay, the fonts don't look okay. Let's see what tools do we have in this application. So there's the about page. GPL V2. My browser starts correctly. Opens the KD Bugzilla for report a bug. So this um, about page seems to be okay. This is the file open dialog. Let's go back. And then the only other options that we have, tools that we have, is the bookmark tool. And uh, in the right hand side, the drawer with uh, pages. We don't have tooltips. And uh, chapter structure. Which works. The chapter structure works. Then the bookmarks view does not work and the fourth button, I don't know what it is, does not work. So I can maybe bookmark pages, but I cannot see which pages are bookmarked. Okay, I can scroll with my mouse in here. I cannot swipe in here. All of the three but mouse buttons do the same thing. So if I left click, left mouse click. If I right mouse click. If I middle mouse click, it uh, generates a touch event. Okay, so this is the application named Ocular Kirigami. This is the Bugzilla bugs.kd.org page for the correct product, which is ocular. Where were we? So this is from the stable KDF droid uh, repository. Let's see Ktrip in action. I want to install it. Open.
no connections found. Okay. About key trip. Providers. Departures. End of journey. Okay, next application. Let's also uninstall Ocular Mobile. There's the media player, Elisa, which I don't know how to use. probably need to download mp3 files or something and then add them to the playlist or add uh, radio stations to the playlist settings okay. apply button and cancel button Cancel button. Okay, next. Let's um, remove the rest of the applications from the list of applications. Nothing to remove. Let's see if the application Kirigami Gallery exists in here. No, it does not. Okay, let's change the settings. Remove this repository and add the last one. which is uh, this one, the KDF Droid Nightly Build Repository. Right click, copy. This is one of the default web browsers in uh, this Android, on this Android device. It pre-populates, says, uh, has the correct name for the repository. So KD Android Nightly Builds. Correct URL. Let's go to categories and see what applications are available in this uh, repository. So Alligator, which is a uh, RSS feed aggregator reader. Kalindori, the media player Elisa. Itinerary, K-Trip Congress, we saw this before, and here is K-Tubaling Mobile, so let's look at it. Game, this guy, so does not have an icon. Okay, to Berlin is from today. It's K2 Berlin Mobile, so a different version of K2 Berlin. Install. Open. Okay, so it doesn't have the main menu, but it has the most important settings, which is to select there are you train valley and then uh, this is for speaking out loud the 
a description of the item that you pick. So now it said cyclist, which we can disable this um, read out loud option. Okay. There's no double clicking. Right clicking is identical to left clicking. Middle clicking is identical to left clicking. Let's go ancient Egypt. This guy. Okay, so that's it. It has the canvas with what you would expect from it, so you can move objects around. And a uh, mute uh, donkey. A mute read text button. And a way of selecting which scene you want to use. Okay. Let's close the application and install it. Back. Uh, the other interesting one is Kirigami Gallery. Updated today. Open. Okay, so this is the application, has a, a button for going back here to the home. There's a search where we can write chips. And select. There's closable chips. Okay, let's go back to home. So there's tab navigation. So now we're in the search field. It blinks a cursor that's invisible and uh, says Control F, so has a tooltip. If I go Tab, it closes the on-screen keyboard and the focus is probably, I don't know, where? Now it's on chips, now it's on buttons. So there's something between search and the first card, this one, the buttons. Okay, I press enter to enter, let's go back, search, tab, tab, and spacebar, and select correctly. The model drawers react to the back Android bottom bar button. There's some scroll wheel. Functionality function works correctly. I can scroll using the mouse. Text is uh, 
on top of the so the alternate background color is displayed on top of the positive background color text. There's tool tips. The back key does not work now. But works when a model dialog is shown. It went to the source code in uh, inventkit.org using the web browser Firefox, which I've installed from um, Google Play, Play App Store. Goes to the documentation page api.kd.org. I can uh, flip left and right to change the tab or I can click on the tab. Again left clicking is the same thing as right clicking and middle clicking. Touching the scroll bar does not work, which is normal because this is a touch user interface. Okay. So this was the Kirigami Gallery. Kirigami is a KD library for creating applications that work great both on Android, on Linux mobile phones and on the desktop or your laptop computer. And it's based on Qt Frameworks QML and uh, Q Quick Controls too. Okay. There's Key Weather that I do not know how to use. This thing. So it displays the name Weather instead of Key Weather. Let's install it. Do you want to install this application? Yes. OK. 
Okay. Add a location. How do I add a location? Clicking does not do anything. If I press the top key, it goes to clear search. So there's a hidden clear search button, then there's the search button, and then I go back to the edit box. So Berlin, clear search, search and it doesn't I have no clue how to select one of the possibilities if that's what I should do okay what else does it know how to do it selected the correct um, locale and about works but it's different from the other applications that we saw previously Firefox does not show a uh, progress bar, just jumps from nothing to something. Okay, so that's about key weather. I cannot use it because I cannot select any location. Let's uninstall it. So we already saw ocular kirigami. This was key weather. We saw key tubeling. Key trip, key recorder. Let's look at key recorder. First of all, let's see if my uh, microphone works. Does my microphone does my microphone work? Yes, it does. Okay, let's see the application from the KD community, which is called Key Recorder. Where are you? This guy. So it says just recorder, not key recorder, and does not have the correct icon. And in here it has the correct. Uh, name and the correct icon. Open. Open sesame. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, so I do not know what this thing is. Let's uninstall it. What else is there? Plasma camera. 
QRCA. Let's see QRCA. Do I find it? This guy, barcode scanner. So wrong name should be QRCA, not uh, barcode scanner or QRCA barcode scanner or something. Uh, doesn't have the correct icon. Yes. Open. Allow QRC to take pictures. Yes. Okay, so this app is easy to use. Next. Tasks. What is tasks? This guy, tasks. So what's the name of tasks? Source code, it's Toad. Okay, so incorrect icon and incorrect title should be Toad and with this icon. Install, open. All of my tasks are completed. Done. What's up? Oh, something's wrong with the text. All right. And no in this field. Done. Okay, so something's wrong with the text. It takes the first character and puts it at the end. Then um, the editor is all over the place. It puts the W at the end of the... Not sure what it does here. Now it moved the dot. And how do we approve yet? Okay, so the text box does not work correctly. That was something. About tasks. Yes, this strikes it through. Can we delete it or tasks completed? Okay, clear all and the search button.
Okay, the page has loaded correctly for the donations. Plasma phone book, what is that? This thing, phone book. Wrong icon, wrong uh, application name. These are correct, correct uh, icon, correct application name. But the icon does not look that great. Uh, no, no contacts. Okay, the edit box again does not work. These flying things are also not okay. I cannot see the edit box. Nope. <laughs> That's what it should what should have happened. Nothing happened. Okay. The keyboard works. Okay, edit box is a mess up text. Okay. There is the about box. File open dialog. Back. Okay. Next. So there's the two chat applications, NeoChat and um, Tokodon, a uh, virus thing. And the indoor map and contrast. Let's look at contrast. This thing. I'm not sure if this icon is okay with uh, these many edges. Um, this hamburger menu, the icon does not look okay. It's one pixel high, two pixels high, and then one pixel high back. I'm not sure why there's this um, gray margin around the icon. About dialog does not work. Help show some text. 
favorite colors empty randomize mark as favorite fail to save color mark as favorite fail to save color again invert and then go back to favorite colors which is a placeholder for the future okay what's this icon I'm not sure what this icon is. Okay, let's exit the application. Indoor map. Bordering scales. Let's see this one. K lime grids. So the correct application text, but the uh, incorrect application icon. Interesting. Okay, that's it. There's this extra menu set record and clear. Refresh. Set record. Okay, next. What other applications are there? Key Algebra Mobile. Let's look at this one. Install. Open. So, so this is the version of Key Algebra for mobile phones. About works dictionary works down arrow key on my keyboard works because I'm inside the combo box name. So in here and I can go arrow key up or arrow key down. Great. Next, variables. Okay, next, value tables. Step one, sinus of zero to sinus of 10. Okay, this thing, I'm not sure what it's supposed to do, graph 2D or graph 3D. And also calculator, I don't see it working. And that's it. Next. K 
podcasts for uh, for audio casts. Alligator, a RSS feed reader. Kismith, I know, I'm not sure what it does. We saw Kirigami Gallery. Let's find this indoor map and then that's it. How do we search? Listing KD OSM indoor map. Let's look at the source code repository. So libraries KOSM indoor map. Multi floor indoor map renderer. So there is an application from this library, which is this thing. QML application. Okay. Install. So KD OSM indoor map. Correct text, incorrect icon. Open. Can I move the map somehow? What did I do? Back. Let's reopen the application. Okay, so I changed the scale or something. I messed up. So if I just drag it only goes up. Okay, how do I zoom? Okay. Revit to go. And now I can pan around. So mouse wheel scroll to zoom in out and when it's not uh, zoomed when you can move around then uh, using the mouse you can move around Okay, great. Looks great. Twenty one oh four. So this should be twenty three oh eight, probably. Yep, it's from today. I'll open dialog. I'll open dialog. How do we close the about KD? Back, back. Oop. Okay, looks great.
and then there's the plasma camera application. Install. So both the app and the metadata from the Fdroid repository do not have the correct icon for the plasma camera. The correct icon is this one. Do you want to install an update? Uh, this thing is a trap. Allow plasma camera to take, yes. Camera not available, so it's not available indeed. Because the I don't have a camera application installed from the Play Store or available from the ROM the custom ROM with lineage OS. Okay. So that was it. Most of the AD applications that are available in repositories being in the default repository from the um, Google Play App Store or in the default uh, repository from FDroid or in the two extra repositories that uh, the KD community has in KD community's CDN, so in the content delivery network. There's, there are two FDroid repositories that are controlled and hosted by the KD community for stable releases and for uh, nightly builds. There might be additional um, APK files available somewhere from the KD community. And uh, you can maybe build yourself additional applications using KD Craft, additional applications, KD applications for uh, Android, and then generate an APK, an APK using the recommended way, which is a Docker container with KD Craft, and then install that uh, APK file using Waydroid's technology, which is this thing, Waydroid app install, and then the name of the APK file. So that should be run from outside of the Western Compositor. It can be run from anywhere, inside as long as you're inside this graphical, graphical user interface session logged in as your user as the same user as you saw here so this is it thank you